Dear colleagues from the European Society of Cardiology, I'm Christoph Diener, a stroke neurologist from the University of Essen in Germany. And this month I have two important publications, one from the field of uh, preventive therapy with aspirin and the other one on the nocebo effect. Uh, the first study, which was published in Lancet, dealt with age-specific bleeding risk in patients in secondary prevention after TIA ischemic stroke or myocardial infarction antiplatelet therapy. This study recruited patients between 2002 and 2012. There were 3,166 3, patients, half of them older than 75 years. The study observed a high rate of major bleeding events, and this rate increased with age. For example, the hazard ratio of major bleeding for antiplatelet therapy versus control was 3.1 above the age of 75 years, and the hazard ratio for fatal bleeds was 5.5. The study also observed that in particular in elderly patients, the risk of upper GI bleeds disabling and fatal bleeds can be reduced by the intake of proton pump inhibitors. So for example, the numbers needed to treat to prevent a disabling of fatal upper GI bleed in patients above the age of 85 years on aspirin was only 25. The second study, which was published in Lancet, is a sub-analysis of the ESCOT LLA trial. Perhaps you remember this trial was done between 1998 and 2002 and recruited 10,180 patients who had risk factors for stroke. They were randomized in a double-blind placebo-controlled fashion, either to 10 mg of atovastatin or placebo. The trial was terminated prematurely because the trial was positive for atovastatin. Now, in, during the double-blind phase, they recorded muscle-related adverse events, and there was no difference between atovastatin and placebo. The absolute numbers per year were 298 versus 283. Then the patients were offered for three years to continue in a non-blinded fashion. Now, in this part of the study, there was a clear and significant increase on muscle-related adverse events in the atovastatin group compared to the patients who were not treated with atovastatin. The hazard ratio was 1.41, absolute numbers 161 versus 124. Ladies and gentlemen, this shows an important nocebo effect. So as soon as patients and doctors are aware that the patient is on a statin, the incidence of uh, muscle-related adverse events increases. And this points out again how important it is to do clinical trials, not only in a randomized fashion, but also with placebo control. So, dear colleagues, two important studies. One of the risk of uh, GI bleeds uh, on aspirin in elderly people, which can obviously be prevented by proton pump inhibitors, and a great study on the nocebo effect in statin-treated patients. I am Christoph Diener, stroke neurologist from the University of Essen in Germany. Thank you for watching and listening.